in the miasms around us. So and we're secretly awesome. recording so that Terry doesn't know, but no I'm kidding. <laughs> Hey, y'all. Sometimes things happen that kind of throw us for a loop that we're not expecting. And I, um, I'm going to say that someone posted something um, yesterday. And after listening to the post, it made me stop and question a lot of things that I just sort of took for, um, no, I'm not, not going to say took for granted, but I hadn't, I, I hadn't questioned a lot of stuff. And so once I watched that video, it made me question a lot of things. And she, the lady in the video, had a lot of paperwork and a lot of stuff to back up what she said. And um, so it just threw me for um, a kind of a side, <laughs> a sideways loop because, you know, here I'm thinking I'm going to be, I am on my, my affirmation every day is that I'm on my highest path. And then this comes and it's like, I guess this is the highest path, but boy, it kind of threw me for a. It did so, the same thing to me. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's just like, wow. Um, questioning everything, almost everything. Questioning everything. And, there, and not only that, and I suppose this is a healthy thing, is, is for us to question our beliefs. Because we get so, um, we get so stuck with our beliefs. And then when something comes along and kind of shatters it, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Um, but that's, we, we get into these comfortable places that, oh, this is what I believe and nothing's going to change it. And then when something does shake it up, it's like, oh, time to break down those barriers and open up to something more. So now I need another understanding. And I'll tell you that after listening to that, I um, e even my morning practices, I started doing something that I knew that I should be doing, but it was like going to my core and then sending out a wave of energy so that all of these electromagnetic frequencies that we have around us um, are not stable because I'm not going to let them settle into me. So but that's just sort of what I believe. <laughs> but it, cha it changed my whole concept of things. And so it's now trying to like, hmm, how does this all fit into things? So that's me. Andromeda! This is the first time I've seen you. Hi. But I'll be quiet because we're on camera. But good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, the whole idea this week, I totally forgot it was daylight savings time. And <laughs> I'm looking at the clock and I'm never reconciling. Terry says, oh, it's 11 o'clock now. And I'm like, I don't know what Terry's drinking. It's not 11 o'clock here. <laughs> but it was 11 o'clock here. And I forgot that it was daylight savings time. And with the whole idea of springing forward and multiplication is something I was talking about the other day that um, you can tell when source is involved in something. It's never really about subtraction. It's not about breaking people down. It's not about tearing things down. It's really more about gathering and moving forward, increase increase in your own abundance but increase in your your personal abilities right right and embracing more and being more and so i'm just really watching how there's just a lot of tearing down going on and yeah we have to do we do have to tear down some old beliefs because there's a lot of self-limiting beliefs but then there's a lot of me not me like, yeah. is that me? Like, where do these beliefs come from? Like you're saying, and what, why, why do I feel the way I do? Why do I think the way I do? And I can question it, but still add on to it and build, um, and build 
while destroying some of these self-limiting beliefs. But it's it's time because you know there's some people that are subtracting from us, right? Because yeah. if we're busy watching others then maybe we're not doing. Mm -hmm. And that's subtracting from us in a way. I think um, it's springtime and it's time to start working on your own projects and keep leaping forward and not exactly. necessarily yeah. looking back. Because I, I don't know, I'm just feeling like there's just too much time studying, especially to criticize and watch what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. And it, it can leave you in a bitter state. Like, why is she always doing this? And why Terry always over there reading oracles on Tuesday? Why is she always, you know, we get, people are getting critical and bitter and, you know, and they got a lot of names for everybody. But then it's like, okay, well, what are you doing with your life? Mm -hmm. Do something with your life. If you're not happy with what you see going on, do something with your own life. And I really don't have that much to say except for, you know, this it. Keep on doing what what it is that you're supposed to be doing and focusing on that. But don't necessarily look at other people to be an example. Because I, I, you know, I had that conversation with one of my Instagram friends that I never verbally spoke to him before. But this was it. Like um, we were discussing certain people who were legends back in the '60s and '70s when it came to. Um, like the Black Power Movement and things like that. And I was just informing him. I said, this is why a lot of people are struggling because they're kind of looking back at the old voices who were, at the time, there might have been some anger needed, right, to get through what yeah. they were going through. But you can't stay on that 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 focus of anger, right, because they needed that for unity to build with, or, you know, maybe a stronger foundation for black America were coming through a certain struggle. But now, like, do I really need all that anger? And do I need to focus that much on slavery in the past? And, you know, we discussed slavery all around the world. Like if you want to talk about slavery in India, you know, they're coming out of slavery in the nineties and stuff like that. So we can't yeah. stay studying. Yeah. This is what hurt me in the past. Now you've already figured that out. You've come out of that hole. Oh my goodness. And now it's time to move forward into the opportunities that you have available to you now. We cannot stay focusing on licking our wounds. What your mama did to you when you was 12, that's over now. You can, you know, you've already nursed that wound, heal it, and now it's time to move on. Freaky, Terry. I put three cards and two out of the three are the same as I pulled for myself last night. Not only that, the first card is metamorphosis. Woo. Mm -hmm. Am I on here? Oh, anyway, yeah, I'm not. just talking. I'm yeah. not even on here. So the first card is metamorphosis, right? Right. Interesting. Um, Like the caterpillar, because it's time for the caterpillars to come out. I was just thinking about that because it's all the pollen on the ground here. And oh my gosh, the allergies and, and itchiness is going crazy. But like the caterpillar that emerges from its cocoon, you are about to get your wings. One thing about caterpillar, have you ever seen one that was partially out? Not if yet. you ever see one that's partially out, I saw, uh, I had a lesson on this once before. You can't cut it open and, and, and pull it out. It oh has God. to finish on its own before the wings are fully developed. So you can see a part of that caterpillar and it might be, for them it might be hours, but for you it might be days, months, weeks, years. When that caterpillar is fully developed, then it can break out its shell on its own. Anything you do to manipulate that, it can actually destroy its chances of ever flying because if you rip it open before it's time, that's it. It's done, it's destroyed. Now, the next card was natural leader, natural born leader. And it said, you were born to others. It's a part of your life path. So for whoever out there that that resonates with, if it's a part of your path, 
you can try to avoid it, but it's it's coming. That was the second card that I pulled last night. And today the card is entrepreneur. Last night it was increase, which I'm still going to consider similarly the same, right? As an entrepreneur, I hope you do increase. Be on the lookout for exciting new business opportunities to unfold. All of this still springing forward, coming into something new, multiplying in addition, look for what is out there for you when it comes to your personal development and your personal growth. Personally, I'm about to um, get focused on my classes because during the fall or during the winter, I needed a break. And I literally did do my hibernation, have fun and take a break. But now it's time for me to spring forward and start back into finishing my classes and things like that. And uh, we were talking last night about not being in a hurry because you're working on some projects, Terry, which I'll allow you to speak on that on your own. But like I'm working on my own book and my own class and my own website, which my website is done, but I'm not going to release it yet because I want everything to be flying, all my butterflies to be fully hatched before my new website launches. And we have a launch party for that to discuss it. But definitely, I see where that applies. These apply. Anything you want to add to that? Well, I, I just, before we started, I pulled a card and it's called, and it was your path. So it was interesting that yours was not, and, and so this was the one that I pulled in. And it says, dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. And so I think one of the things that we um, generally do is we, and I'm saying we collectively, not everybody, but, but our fears is what sort of propels us. And we don't realize that, that um, they create illusions for us. And, I think we need to be more strong with who we are within us so that we can see those illusions. And, and maybe, you know, there's, there's that whole idea of the caterpillar. I mean, the caterpillar and the butterfly or whatever, they, they're, they're going through that metamorphosis, but it's an illusion that that caterpillar is going to stay the same, right? And then it starts to, to make that change and it becomes something else. And I think, for us, we have to realize, too, that once we can see past the illusions, that we will change, too. So we, we go through that metamorphosis if we start to sit with um, what's going on with around us and and releasing some of those fears. And, and it can be difficult to release the fears, but it doesn't have to be difficult. The fears are a collective around us, and we can't solve all of them. So we have to look inside us and say, what is it that I can do to break myself free of this illusion that's around me? And so it, it takes inside work, but that it, trust that we are guided from through through a higher through a higher source. And I'm gonna even bring it further with. That example of me and my friend talking last night, because people are looking at the old leaders for answers. Mm -hmm. And if all your beliefs are built on what the old leaders were thinking and feeling, it it's it's not relevant. It's changing. And you're, you're going to see this in your spiritual community, because what I recently am seeing is like this clash of the titans where Godzilla is fighting Mothra, fighting King Kong versus Godzilla. And... Um, People are having their old thought leaders are, are attacking each other. There's people that you admire, like maybe you admired all of them, but now all of them are actually turning against each other. And now what does that mean for you? I would say to focus on yourself and don't get involved in these fights and these arguments and these like mudslinging things and everybody's fake and all this stuff because it, I feel like that's these titanic 
egos are fighting with each other on who can be the king of the mountain when the king of the mountain is you. You're the king of your own mountain, you know, and a lot of what you've learned, those were great tidbits along the path of your journey, but that is not where you need to rest. You have to finish the journey on your own without relying on the old giants to lead the way and light the way for you. You have to be able to light your own way with your own guides and your your own um, discernment and I don't know. Can we can we afford to watch all the fighting and the and the infighting and the I don't know. I, I always used to say before that people are fighting 70 year old tar tarot card readings. They <laughs> readers, you know, like what what in the, in this what is supposed to be like a spiritual community, I just feel like people are still building churches and they just want to go sit down in the pews and wait for someone to tell them what to do. And I just don't think that you can do that. Get off your butt and go out there and discover life for yourself. Take chances for yourself and use your energy to find joy in this life because you can't be both. You cannot be the light and be like the destroyer of light at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't co you know, do both. All of it has its own purpose, but all that purpose might be just to test you to see if you have the ability to get off the couch and go do it for yourself. Anyway, that's it for me. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, and it's, it's hard sometimes, um, but going back to springing forward, we're in that season, and so it it we need that the propel the the propulsion propulsion to do that now. We're in the spring, and this is the time to just say, let's just just do it. You know, like that was a an old commercial, just do it, and it's it's time to just do something something that's out of your comfort zone because we always seem to want to do something within our comfort zone and like i said earlier i saw something yesterday that just took me out of my comfort zone completely and i think we need to challenge ourselves because we don't we don't if if we're going to grow within our comfort zone um we're just going to repeat what we're doing and we have to move outside of that and so um don't shy away from things that make you feel uncomfortable. That's how growth happens. That's how we shatter those walls that we've built around us and have to, you know, does that mean we start over again? We are not starting over. You're already, you've already come a certain way. So it's like you're, you're climbing up a mountain and you come to a plateau and you're really comfortable in that plateau. But guess what? You got to keep going because you're not going to reach the top if you stay there. I mean, you can, you can stay there, but it's, it goes back to our metaphor about driving down the interstate, Erica. You know, you can be comfortable in place, but how long are you comfortable there? Because that's not the destination. That's not where you're meant to be. So it's, um, it, it is breaking free. It's time to get back on the road again. You reminded me of the Tower of Babel. Is that Kenny Rogers? Out. Is that Kenny Rogers? No, oh, really now. Really oh, Willie Nelson. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> just can't wait. <laughs> Back there with my friends. Let's get out of here, y'all. It's We're, we're Time done. <laughs> Time to get moving. Yeah. Even if it's uncomfortable. That's when you need to do it most. It's when it's uncomfortable. I'm hitting the button, Terry. Bye, okay. y'all. Bye. <laughs> we're going to be like, like the clampets. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>